IMO 2021 International Mathematical Olympiad problem number four. The problem is the following. Problem number four. Let gamma be a circle with center I and ABCD a convex quadrilateral such that such that each of the segments AB, B, C, C, D, and D, A is tangent to gamma. Let omega be the circumcircle of the triangle AIC. The extension of BA beyond A meets omega at X and the extension of BC beyond C meets omega at Z. The extensions of AD and CD beyond D meet omega at Y and T respectively. Prove that AD plus DT plus T, TX plus XA equals CD plus DY plus YZ plus ZC. Let's copy this equality, the sentence of the problem. Now we draw the figure. We want to prove that. Let's minimize that. Okay. Now we want to prove this. So look AD here plus DT plus Tx, T, Tx, and let's draw this part. We can draw this and this. Tx xa equals Cd plus dy, Cd plus dy plus yz plus yz plus zc. So we want to simplify and find the things that we know. At first, we can say that if we consider, for example, Zc or Z prime C, if I draw this radius, we know that it's perpendicular to BC, and if I consider this one, this angle C, IC, arc IC, also I can say which things C, IC, if I consider this part, and if I draw this part. So we can conclude that these two triangles are congruent because this angle equals this angle, they see the same arc, and also I Z prime equals I T prime and also this is 90, so this is 90 minus this point minus dot and in this one 90 minus dot and by two angles and the side between, we can conclude that I T prime T, let me write this, I by two angles and the side between, we've concluded that triangle I T prime T is congruent to I Z Z prime, triangle I Z Z prime. So we can conclude that Z Z prime equals Z prime T T prime. And now we want to use this in our equality. We want to prove that. Now let's see T T prime is what T D T plus D T prime. So we write here D T is D T plus let me maximize my pencil. D T equals T T prime minus dt prime and zz prime relates to what zc so zc equals what zz prime minus cz prime now we can cancel these two things tt prime and zz prime and now let's see how we simplify more we have here ad minus dt prime okay so ad minus dt prime we can say it is equal ad minus dy prime so ad minus dt prime equals ay prime so we simplify that plus tx plus xa xa is this one and now let's see here cz prime we have and cd 
CD minus CZ prime. Again, we can say CZ prime equals CT prime. So DC or CD minus CZ prime equals DT prime. So equals DT prime plus DY plus YZ. Now, let's consider how we can simplify more. TX we have AY prime and XA. AY prime here we have XA. And okay, so again we can use something like this that x x prime c this side equals what c this side again if we consider uh huh if we consider let me draw it by green here if I consider this part this part and this and this again I can say but again by S similarly by ASA two angles and side between we can conclude that triangle I X X prime is congruent to triangle I Y Y prime why because these two angles with two points and two points they see the same arc so these two angles are equal and it's 90 this is 90 so all angles are equal and what i y prime equals i x prime since i is the circle of this circle now circ uh, i is center of gamma now we can say okay a x plus a x prime x a a y prime equals a x prime so i can say a x x prime y x x prime plus d x y it equals now let's consider d y plus y uh, plus d y plus y z y z is where y y z and what about d t prime d t prime equals d y prime right so dy prime plus dy so dt prime equals dy prime dy prime plus dy is yy prime yy prime plus yz and we know that ixx prime is congruent to iyy prime so xx prime equals yy prime so we can say that it is needed only to prove that y t x equals we can cancel x x prime and y y prime from both sides so we need to prove y t x equal y z x t equals y z and now for proving this let's consider the next figure we need we prove that the sentence the sentence of the problem it is equivalent that y tx equals y z so they are in same circle if we prove that the angle inscribed angle that sees let me draw it by red if i prove that this angle and if i consider this this angle let me call this one with the smaller one alpha and this one beta if I prove because they are in same circle, if I prove that alpha equals beta, then the problem will be solved. Alpha equals beta. Now let's focus on proving equality of these two things. Alpha equals beta. So if I consider this line and this line, if I consider for example this one alpha 1, this one again is alpha 1, this one is theta, and I can say the theta is the whole, this is beta, so it would be theta minus beta, because the whole term is theta, so this is beta, this is theta minus beta, and I can call this one, uh, 
for example I can call this one uh, alpha beta theta and the next one I can call this one gamma and let's see what we have we know that this angle plus this angle plus this angle plus this angle is 180 alpha 2 alpha 1 plus beta plus alpha is 180 and in this AICY AICY is cyclic so we can say this angle plus this angle is 180 so alpha 1 plus gamma plus Theta minus beta plus beta again is 180. And now the things that we can conclude is to uh, consider that these two things are equal. So 2 alpha 1 plus theta plus alpha equals alpha 1 plus gamma plus theta minus beta plus beta. It would be theta and we can cancel these things. We can say alpha 1 plus alpha equals gamma. So if we prove that alpha 1 plus beta equals gamma, then the problem will be solved. We can conclude by these two things that beta equals alpha, the things that we want. So alpha 1 plus beta and gamma. So let's see what we have in this figure. Alpha 1 we have here and alpha 1 here so uh, if I consider this shape ATZY this is alpha and it must equals alpha or we can also consider another thing so let, let's check you know this is beta so this is 2 beta so if I consider another let's consider that it's better to see which cyclic quadrilateral we want to prove that gamma equals that as you can see alpha plus beta this is beta and half of this means this is beta and if you want to add with alpha 1 it is this so alpha 1 is the, this whole angle and I can consider for example this one and I know that this is alpha 1 plus beta and it is equal to gamma here since so let me write it this angle is beta plus alpha 1 alpha 1 plus beta because it is this arc and this arc half of this arc is beta half of this arc is alpha 1 so this is alpha 1 plus beta and in since z T I C is cyclic then we can conclude that this angle equals this angle and this angle is gamma and we prove this so this we prove this and this and the problem has been solved